potatoes going potate, taters going tate, and haters going hate. We stopped to get some food before we go to Leonardo da Vinci's um, museum. And I ordered the lasagna and Cosmina ordered something else. Also got a little cappuccino. Espresso. 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 They're so tiny. So it's super, super bitter, but I'm determined to drink it like the Italians. So my lasagna came. Mine's a lasagna bolognese. Looks very good. It's very small though. Very flat. Uh -huh. uh, this is a, a panini with ricotta cheese and spinach. Looks good and fancy. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Yum. This is really good and again, not very strong flavor. It's not overpowering. How is it? Good. What'd you say about it? The inside is cold and the bread is hot. The inside is cold and the bread is warm. Another good thing about this is that it's not overly salty when you have like pastas and like meatballs and stuff in um, the US. It's overly salty. This is not. It's like just perfect. The inside is like evenly and perfectly filled also. Very good. This part here is also really nice and crisp. It's very good. I keep burning my mouth because this is so good. Like I want to eat it right away. So we came to the Leonardo da Vinci Museum and we got the student price. He asked us, are we students? And we said, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was only 13 euros instead of the full price of like 26. Um, but I'll show you guys this museum. There's two museums actually. One is just his inventions. And this one is his inventions, his life and art. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys around. So we had some of Leonardo da Vinci's paintings to look at, but most of them were the digital versions, like of the Mona Lisa, for example, which is in Paris. We also had some other ones with the Virgin and Child with Saint Anne, where Saint Anne is the centerpiece of this painting that he also painted. And then some sketches of his that are the actual sketches. They're not replicas, they're not copies, but the actual sketches that Leonardo da Vinci had made of all kinds of different things. People, nature, objects, and even the Last Supper that he had painted. But again, this one is not the actual thing, but a digital copy of it. Leonardo da Vinci was not only a sketcher and an artist with painting, but he was also a scientist who was very interested in the human body and in anatomy. So that's why there's also very many sketches of the human body in different positions, different faces, um, because he was very interested in studying the body. Eventually, Leonardo da Vinci became very interested in architecture and buildings and the creating contraptions and tools. He studied lots of city maps as well as tried to recreate maps of cities and tried to understand how to build certain things with um, mathematics being a huge interest of his in order to understand architecture.
This map shows where Leonardo da Vinci had worked throughout his life and studied. These are some of the people that were great influences in his life and that he worked with. And this shows that he was very big into painting, science, anatomy, inventions, and architecture, and some information about it. So you have to spin that thing. The air screw. An air screw. It's supposed to run up in the air and spin like that, and the air is supposed to keep it up. So he thought that if you spin it fast enough, it lifts itself up into the air. So what is this? An oil press powered by horses. An oil press powered by horses to squeeze out oil from olive. olive oil. That's cool. Spin this thing. I'm assuming the horses are somehow attached here and this spins and then it comes out there. This is a rolling cart that he invented that it rolls much easier, much faster without as much effort. So this is a screw water pump that transfers water from low-lying places to up higher. Helps with irrigation. So basically, she spins that and the water gets pulled up down from here all the way up into this screw and it comes out there and then drips down here. He invented a life guard jacket and fins this for swimming. That's so cool. This guy was so genius, he invented a movable bridge. So open this way, close this way. So that in more, if you don't want the other side to come and use your bridge, you just open and close it. That way you don't have to destroy the bridge. That's so cool. He also invented the dressing room and with multiple, multiple mirrors. Cool. There's even little people. <laughs> he designed this to test the potential of the wing's thrust. That's so cool. It's really heavy though. Then this is, he basically like played around with different shapes, construction shapes. And so it shows here some things that you can do, some things that he created for good structural integrity. So it shows this and how strong it is. And then you can recreate shapes. This is a bigger version. It's a vertical flying machine where the pilot is vertical and it's supposed to maximize muscle strength. Flywheel or an augmentation wheel, it's supposed to help store rotational energy. with the transmission of rotary motion and get the energy from that. Simple. And this is a crank that transmits rotary motion to the cam, this. So the rotary motion helps you to get the power for this camera. Another one. This was a way to just get the cannon to move up and down in an easy way. This just helps 
helps the wheels go faster. A bicycle. Distribution chain used today still. A self locking system that we still use today. You just pick this up, it goes down, and you do it again. So you put in one side something that absorbs moisture and something else that doesn't on the other side like wax and that helps you measure like atmospheric pressure. This is an excavator or a digging machine. So this gets way down, then this goes down and then up and down and up. Well, that was the museum of Leonardo da Vinci. I feel like it's pretty cool. It gives you a little bit of his art, a little bit of his life, and a little bit of his inventions. And you get to actually play around with his inventions to see how they work, which I think is really cool.